Grace Rabadi and her brother Pierre were taken away in custody Tuesday afternoon after Justice Deb DeLay sentenced them for their roles in the murder of 26-year-old Roxanne Louis, the mother of Grace's great-grandson. Grace received a mandatory life sentence with eligibility of parole in 10 years, while Pierre was sentenced to 27 months in jail for dumping Louis's body off of a nearby forestry road. While Grace claimed she had been forced to kill in self-defense, Louis's family wasn't buying it. To me, uh, I guess this is a lesson in murder 101. You know, cover your tracks, uh, get your lawyer, go with your lawyer to turn yourself in, uh, get rid of the murder weapon, and uh, get the lightest sentence possible here. You know? uh, a lot of it was one-sided. You know, Roxanne and her mother, uh, Bev, are not here to defend themselves and their names were uh, drug through the mud here. And we want uh, Roxanne to be remembered as the person she was, very loving, and she was moving on with her life. And uh, I think that uh, uh, Grace Rabadi uh, feared that, we feared that uh, our, the, the grandson was uh, going to be uh, spending less and less time with her, and I, I think she just couldn't deal with it. The reason we have violence against women and violence against indigenous women and girls in part is because the criminal justice system and the courts are far too lenient uh, when these cases are brought to trial. So it's another sad chapter, another tragic page in the history of uh, missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. It's just devastating when when you don't have those family members around the Christmas tree or around uh, turkey dinner at Easter time this time of year. It's, it's devastating. You just can't explain it. For Casadent News, I'm Nick Johansson.